Tonight's opening begins with Stone Angel Brewing's Red-Handed Irish Red Ale. Medium-bodied malt-focused beer with initial sweetness balanced with subtle toasted grains and caramel notes, which finishes with a roasted dryness and slight hop bitterness. All right, let's uh, see what's in the mail pile today, shall we? Let's start with this one. It says 10, pin, 10 pieces, 8 pin, yeah, it, some kind of connectors probably. It is stackable header pins. Last time I believe I got some four pin versions. These are the eight pin versions. And again, these are, I think these are exactly the ones that come with the D1 minis. Yes, that's exactly what they are. So these you can use to stack modules up almost infinitely, really. Um, the sky's the limit. Oh, there's one that's already got one sitting on it. So, well, maybe not these relay modules because they're too tall, but pretty much any other module, you can stack them as sky high as you practically can until you run into pins. Kind of like that. And then like that, right? Makes sense? Okay. Um... I had an application where I needed to steal a couple from these kits, so I decided to replenish them, and then some, because if that application came up once, it's going to come up again. 10 pieces, 8 pin, 2.54 millimeter stackable, 11 millimeter long legs, female headers for Arduino uh, S3, whatever. I got these from Love Cell 2013. I paid $1.33 for them, and... It's changed, but there wasn't any shipping back then. These only took about 40 days to get here, which isn't too bad. That was back in March that I ordered these, so not much down here to see. Uh, single row, female connector, 8 pin, 2.54 millimeters, sure. All right, next thing in is LED digital tube. I don't know why they call LEDs tubes. Anyways, so these are more seven segment LEDs had these ones or similar ones in the last few meal bags they all just they were all ordered at the same time and they all just slowly trickled in let's find out what this one is for color so as usual with these things um there's five pins across the top and five pins across the bottom the middle pin both top and bottom is common to the whole thing and in this case, the common is negative common cathode. And if my colorblind eyes are not deceiving me, this is a red one. Five pieces, 10 pin, one bit, seven segment, one inch red LED display, digital tube, common cathode. I bought these from Dragon Ball Fourth, who is not currently selling anything at the moment. So I will just link you to this search, which should find lots of them. And from a random seller, we have this set of descriptions. Uh, nothing that we didn't really already know. Tin pins, red common cathode. We don't already figured that part out. Dimensions 19 by 13 by 7 millimeters. Sure. So far, nothing too exciting and uncommon. Mostly just shop stock. Let's see what we've got here. This one was shipped from Ontario, but I recognize that address, uh, Silver Dot Road in Mississauga. That is sort of a drop shipping warehouse, so this probably originally came from China. It is an audio extension cable, male to female, 3.5 millimeters. These things are just stupidly common. I probably could have got them at my local dollar store too, but I specifically got this one, nice cloth coated wire. At least it looks nice anyways, feels nice. Um, I got this one to extend my headphones from my recording computer, which is hey, which is just off that way a little bit. The cable's just slightly too short for me to sit where I'm sitting right now and have my headphones on. Um, but this should fix that problem. And I'm guessing it was only a dollar or two. One piece, one and a half meter, 3.5 millimeter, female to male, female male, headphone, stereo, audio extension, cable, top whatever i got this one from gz clother sale which is another store that after a whole bunch of sales 
doesn't seem to have a single thing available on eBay. So I shall link you, as usual, to the search. And I doubt that there's much interesting to say about this. Nah, nothing that we didn't already know. Um, so this one took 21 days to get here and I paid in a princely sum of $1.38 Canadian. This is going rather quickly. We may have to uh, expand the mailbag just to give you value for money. We have, oh, two of them. That's promising. We have a couple of little tiny kits. Let's see what's in here. Um, the description isn't helpful over there. It just calls it an expansion board module, as they do. We have a couple of pieces of wire, a capacitor, a resistor, a probably diode, a transistor, or at least a transistor shaped device, MAC97A6. Not familiar with that one. And we have a potentiometer with a, a switch on the back of it. It says it's a 500K. It's only got two of the pins wired out, plus the switch, of course. So that can't be used as a, resi as a uh, resistive divider. It can only really be used as a variable resistance in series or something, or parallel, I guess, but probably series. Board doesn't give a lot of clues. Um, oh. 220V, it says across the bottom. Dimming, speed control, power control, something like that. If I knew what this was, that would give me a bit more of a clue. We'll see if we can find it in the listing. Finally, one that's got a listing from the actual seller. I bought this from Alice. One slash two slash five pieces, 100 watt dimmer switch speed regulation DIY kit components for Arduino. Not sure about that part. Uh, two pieces for $1.96 Canadian. I got this from Alice, 110, 1983. So this is suitable for 100 watts AC motor or dimming lights, etc. 100 watts at 220 volts, uh, 0.45 amps. So what do we have in here? PCB, 500K, yeah, pot cap, yeah. Bidirectional diode, okay. That's what the... I didn't recognize it as a bidirectional diode. A 2K resistor, sure. A capacitor, yeah. And this guy here, whatever he is. Aha! It's a triac. A sensitive gate triac. Where's peak gate voltage? 5 volts. Oh! Gate trigger voltage. Uh, typically quarter, well, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a volt. Oh, wow. So that's probably what that bidirectional diode is doing there because it's forward voltage I'm assuming is going to be typical of a, of a normal diode 0.6 ish volts so be an interesting little uh, kit to build and package number five the largest one this one also was shipped from um, that uh, same warehouse in Mississauga so it's not a Canadian seller, but it is shipped from here, so it didn't take very long to get here after I ordered it. A couple of boxes. Small box first? Sure. Ooh, a clamp. Okay. It's a very sturdy little clamp, too. And there's a couple of different screw threads in there. Is that quarter 20? Yeah, that one is quarter 20, so that's standard tripod thread. Okay. That's just a selfie stick handle. Okay, so that could come in handy for mounting camera stuff. And I'm guessing that's probably what that is related to as well. Ah! That is a flexible mounting arm. Um... What do they call those? Nogu arms or magic arms? Uh, Nogo? Nogu? Something? Nagu? I don't know. Noga arms. Hmm. So that looks like a camera hot shoe adapter. So hot shoe is the thing on top of uh, uh, more professional type cameras 
th where the flash would traditionally go. So that's those two there. Okay. And then up here is a little flexible kind of ball mount that you could put. Yeah, and that's that same thread there again. And this is an interesting mechanism. Big Clive featured one of these, uh, probably a slightly more professional one than this one. Um, because he probably paid a little bit more money for it. Uh, he featured one of these a few months ago, which is probably what triggered me to buy this. But these things are just super infinitely adjustable. That can go 360 degrees. That little ball head can go yeah, any direction you want it to. Um, and this little ball head down here can go any direction you want it to. What's under there? Okay, so there's another quarter 20 there. Okay, so that can clamp onto there. Then these guys, you can just sit, put them in whatever angle you want and it'll hold its position. So then, since all of my cameras for this YouTube channel, not all of them, all but one, are phones, like this one here, uh, Samsung S8 for those interested. So I am holding my phone when I'm using it in camera mode on one of these little selfie stick adapter things, which is why I have several selfie stick handles kicking around with nothing on them. That's pretty good. So now then I should be able to put that off to the side and get a side angle or a second angle. You might've noticed two or three videos ago, um, I did a two camera angle shoot. I just had a second phone sitting over here. My primary one was here. Uh, and that one was zoomed in a little bit closer. So I could just get two different angles. And that was connected to this long, long, long gooseneck arm that just clamps up to there. The downside of using gooseneck arms is that. Stop moving anytime now. All right, so now instead of that bouncy arm, I have this up in here, which is nice and solid. If I bump it, it doesn't move. It's also further up out of the way. That other one was kind of down here just because of the flexibility of the arm. I couldn't get it any closer, but now that's way up there and out of the way. I can reach over here into my random pile of crud and uh, grab tools and parts and extra breadboards and whatever I need. You didn't know that I had so much crap over there, did you? Yeah, you probably guessed that. Um, anyways, I can uh, do that and, oh, let's take a look at what the angle looks like. And with that, it's at this angle over here. So if I'm working on something down here, you can see that, and where's the edges? Oh, you can't quite see that crap over here. You can still see the beer, and you see the soldering irons over there? Sort of. I can't actually see what's on that screen from this angle. I just have to set it and forget it and let it run. But uh, I think that might come in handy. I don't know, what do you think of that angle? Articulating 4 camera DSLR 11 inch magic arm plus a super clamp from Quality Store for You. Yet another seller who is no longer selling stuff. This one took 19 days to get here and I paid 2102 with no shipping. And since they've disappeared, I will send you to this uh, search. Now let's see what details we have rather than just me guessing from before. Magic arm with precise designs, quarter inch screw adapters, yeah, I know that. Hot shoe adapter, yep, compatible with flash, LCD monitor, LED light with quarter inch screw. Yeah, pretty much all photographic equipment is kind of standard on the quarter inch 20 threads per inch, uh, or whatever that is in metric for mounting pretty much everything. Uh, features clamp, yes, can be used with back hose holder. That's a little ambitious. Um, comes with a quarter inch and three eighths thread. Okay, that's the other thread, three eighths, sure. Uh, aluminum alloy, yeah, can hold up to two and a half kilograms. The clamp itself can clamp down onto anything one centimeter diameter or a pipe one centimeter diameter or up to five centimeters. Oh yeah, that's interesting. I've just got it clamped onto a piece of wood, which is what about a centimeter and a half, give or take uh, three quarters of an inch. 
Well, that was fun. I was a little concerned it was going to get boring and repetitive, but it turned out to be pretty good. Um, so these uh, eight pin headers and these LEDs are just shop stock. That's going to become part of my Media Empire production facility. Kits. Always good to have kits. And these ones, being mains voltage kits, are potentially exciting. At the very least, maybe we'll learn something. And this guy, and also an addition to the Media Empire here, um, it's, as usual for my purchases, the absolute cheapest version of this that I could find. There are professional versions. Uh, if you want to go really high end, Manfrotto, of course, makes some similar and longer and more, more flexible -er and quieter. They also cost a ridiculous amount of money. This is the absolute cheapest version of this, and it seems relatively sturdy. The only thing that I had a little bit of trouble with when I was setting up that camera over there was getting this to lock onto the selfie stick phone holder thing and prevent it from rotating just under the weight of the phone. Basically, you thread it down onto there a couple of times and you jam this jam nut up against it. But it was just a little awkward. Um, and basically that jam nut there and those two there are the, and the knob are the only plastic things in it. Everything else is metal. And if you want to see how these things work internally, um, as I mentioned before, Big Clive did a teardown of one not that long ago. I'll link it down in the description. Um, not that the big fella needs uh, my help getting traffic to his channel, but he's the one that inspired me to buy it. So there you go. Well, that'll do it for another mailbag. Thanks, as always, for watching. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me buy this stuff and buying me a beer now and again. I really appreciate you guys, and I noticed there was two new uh, new supporters in the month of July and already one in August. So cheers to you guys. And for everybody else, as always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.